filling up water here for the steers. And they're up here being nosy. Pretty good, look, good looking animals. Sprayed them for flies the other day. Stuff's not working that good. Have dehorn them this week sometime. And this one here's got to be a twin. They told me it wasn't, but I think it is, unfortunately. It's not growing good at all. But these four right here, one, two, three, and four, are the first four, and the three off kind of in the back are the last three. There's some curious little jokers, I'll tell you that. This one here in the middle. He's growing pretty good. And then I've got the calf in the back there, the brown calf when walking up here. Got that oddball calf in there. He's he's growing but very, very slow. cats out here and the dog enjoying a uh, Sunday afternoon Memorial Day weekend taking a look at corn real quick it needs nitrogen bad it needs it bad Hoping I'm gonna get it on, get this nitrogen on here probably a couple of days. Uh, you probably can't tell, but it's raining right now. It's rained every day for five or six days. So I'm sitting on, sitting on go really, just waiting to, wait for it to clear up be able to start there's the conventional corn over there this is some of the smart stacks i just sprayed it before all this raid with roundup and atrazine i'm gonna say i'm not happy I'm not happy at all not really sure what's going on put a very big dose well about the highest labeled rate rate of atrazine that i could put and a pretty good rate of roundup and it is very slow on the kill right now uh seen a lot of this out here i'm not sure what it is i really don't know uh is it deer i almost think it's deer but i'm not sure i don't really confused but i've, I've seen it a lot of this corn back here has it. We have a lot of deer pressure. There's some plants that don't have it, but then there's some plants that do. But yeah, it, it it needed nitrogen probably two weeks ago. And yeah, with the, had some stuff going on and couldn't get it on here. And now that I'm ready to go, of course just keeps raining which that's not a big problem with putting out with nitrogen um this ground is probably dry enough to, to hold me without getting stuck but uh, i don't know if i want to try it just yet yeah there's some Sickle pods starting to come up. Uh, I saw the hog out here. It's just one hog. He comes out here. I saw him out here the other night. I didn't have my gun on me. Literally the only night that I didn't have my gun on me. What the heck is that? But, uh, yeah, I didn't have my gun on me. And literally, he was 10 yards from me. <laughs> Came around the corner of the truck. There he was. 
and he just kind of eased on off. He didn't run or anything. He just kind of eased on off. Uh, it would have been a easy kill. But he's not been. I ride out here uh, just about every day because it's kind of on the way to check cattle. But uh, I have not seen any uh, big rootings out here anywhere in the field in a couple of days. Uh, maybe we'll catch him. But yeah, I don't know. If it don't rain too much today, we got an inch yesterday. If it don't rain too much today, I'm coming in here with nitrogen probably tomorrow or the next day. And hoping that atrazine gets to working because I may have to come in here and respray. Right, we'll see. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, time to go look at some oats. All right, cow herd update. Um, same animals except I got uh, a new heifer calf back there. And I don't think the last time I made an update, I had this uh, little bull calf, which is a steer now in the back back there. Uh, these three right here, <coughs> excuse me, the one on the right is the October calf. And the one in the middle is, I think, in December or January. Uh, she was in the just born when I made the grazing video. And then the one on the left is the Longhorns calf. Here comes the other, the other calf there. So we got five calves on the ground. They're growing. They're looking good. The grass is finally starting to get going. Probably just until last week, there was not much to graze. And then I got there's two more two more head of cattle down there in the pond it's not really that hot today so I don't know what they're doing but they like to get in the pond um, as a matter of fact they actually keep the banks of the pond pretty clean which uh, helps me out it's less weed eating and spraying I have to do uh, you don't want too many though around this pond because yeah they can really mess up your the banks of your pond but right now, uh, they're doing a good job. And I guess they'll go over the hill here on me. Yeah, I just kind of wanted to do a cow herd update. I don't really do it too often. Got two young calves. Uh, plan right now is to keep the three heifer calves to grow the herd a little bit. So we'll see what how they grow what they look like when they get bigger uh two down here and one back up at the at the hutches that i got from the other farm it's they're all black heifers so plan it on plan it on keeping them so all right quick update on the cow herd i got rained out today i'm combining oats i wanted to just do like a quick quick look at my garden this year I don't know how much their interest that is. I don't know how much interest there is in looking at the garden, but I don't know. Just trying to provide some content. Uh, I got sweet corn here. It is tasseled out. Most well, I say that. Maybe a little more than halfway tasseled out. Walk in here. This year I went with the non-roundup ready. And I'm not growing to sell this year, it's just mostly for family and friends. So I went with the variety Peaches and Cream. It's a bicolor corn. Uh, yep, day morning glories already. Things are tough to control in the South in corn. Overall, I'm fairly happy with it. I've been so dang busy that I didn't even get 
the total amount of nitrogen on it that I wanted to get on it. A little disappointed in that, but it is what it is. There's one. There's an ear coming. Um, I don't know how many rows I got here. Maybe 16 or so. But, yeah, wasn't going crazy. And then over here, I've got uh the same amount of popcorn and you know popcorn's a longer day so it it is not not started yet this popcorn is pretty dang tall and yep there's some weeds coming up in it i mean some of this popcorn right here this is uh i have the phone here at head high so i mean i'm six foot so most of it's six foot very splotchy though uneven i don't know what happened there it was too thick but yeah first year growing popcorn i can say that is some tall corn it's, it's pretty pretty fair i guess need to come out here and spray these in rows I'll end up getting a call sorry about that anyways i'll show you the rest of the garden real quick now i've got green beans peas squash watermelon cucumbers and zucchini on this side and yeah it's starting to get a weedy mess um i gotta get out here i borrowed a guy's tiller because my tiller is shot and I think it was a Troy built and boy oh boy that thing was couldn't dang about couldn't hold on to it they did a fair job but I didn't like the design but uh, I did spray the dual here there's not really much grass out here just kind of some broad leaves I'm not too worried about it here because um these peas and beans will be they'll already be made and done before these weeds get going so i'll probably just kill this whole thing whenever we get whenever we get done uh picking them but i spray dual magnum or s metallicor is the active ingredient over this whole field except for these this right here and you can tell and what I came in here and did was um, when they were real young, I put five gallon buckets and solo cups over the cucumbers and came down here with a hand sprayer and sprayed all this. So it didn't work great. I meant to get in here and get a, get a hoe and get, a, you know, get all the grasses around it. So there's grass like around the squash and stuff, but picked a good mini zucchini, cucumbers. Cucumbers got hit by something. I don't know what. It's been some leaf cupping. I don't really know what it got hit by. Maybe Roundup, I don't know. Eh, maybe not, I'm not sure. Anyways, yeah. Peas and beans look good. And then right down here, I need to come out here. See, I've pulled some pig weed, but got a couple of watermelon. Yep. That's just a problem to see the, the bucket, five gallon bucket, you know, was just covering this up. So when I sprayed the Roundup, it didn't get it. But I think you can, if I'm not mistaken, I think you can use dual on pumpkins. And I thought you could on squash. It wasn't on the label, I don't know. But I I know you can use it for like pumpkins and they're the same family, so I, I don't know. I'm not really sure on that one, but. Yep, so this is my somewhat weedy garden. Um, we planted it way early this year, like last week of march because these pig weed get to going and just weeds in general get to going so bad around here in the summer and plus picking picking produce in the middle of the summer around here it's not very not very good so we went ahead and put it in early and i think it paid off i think we're going to be able to get everything 
picked it off before it just becomes a weedy mess. Uh, I do have a two row cultivator. Oh, there's some on here. Some beans, green beans. Probably another three, four days we'll come through here and start picking. Probably longer than that, probably three days. Yeah, not looking looking forward to picking beans. They're not fun. Peas are okay.